Welcome to this Sunday's episode of Cooking with Feelings. Today I'm going to attempt something new, as I do every week, and try to make a whole meal in one video. This could be challenging. So today we're going to have Cajun pecan crusted trout, stuffed butternut squash, and then green beans, which are probably going to be the most average thing. But you know, you need a green vegetable on the side. So let me give you an overview of what we have. So we have our Cajun spices that we're going to use. This is just a variety. We have pecans, basil, butter, lemon, trout. Then we have our butternut squash, which we are gonna bake. And then over here, right now we have a mix of cranberries and almonds, cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, a pear, an onion, chai spice. And then over here for our green beans, we have green beans, green onions, garlic, and olive oil. I will show you what to do with all of these in a minute. So the key to cooking a whole meal at once is knowing when to time things. And this is one of the key cooking with feelings points is feeling out when to do what. The thing that's going to take the longest is the squash. They're pretty hearty and they're gonna take a while to bake. So the first thing we're gonna do is toss those in the oven. I pre-cook them before I stuff them so that the stuffing isn't overcooked. So put them in the oven to bake on 350. The thing that's gonna take the second amount of time is the fish, so that's what we'll prepare next. First, we're gonna squeeze lemon all over them. These lemons you might recognize from last week. They were the star of that show. Then we're going to drizzle melted butter on them because you can never go wrong with melted butter. Then we're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of coconut flour, to sort of cause this to form a little bit of a breading. If it seems like I'm making this up as I go, it's because I 100% am. This is the most freestyle I have ever done yet, so bear with me. So we're gonna smear that around to create a sort of breading base that we're gonna then add our spices to. And as much as possible, keep that butter on there. Just gonna smear it around. Yeah, this is definitely freestyling. Next thing we're gonna do is add some of our spices into the pecans. So I'm just gonna add some chili powder, some ever-present Slapio Mama. This is what's gonna give us our salt. So we're not adding any salt because this is already mixed that contains it. Some of this blackened Cajun seasoning. So that's kind of what we're going for. Minus maybe the blackened, it'll just be maybe more like lightly browned. Cayenne. Just kind of a nice mix. And we're gonna steal some of our garlic from our green beans and add those. If you're thinking, oh my gosh, cooking with feelings has lost it. You're not far off. This is definitely taking freestyling to a whole new level, even for me, which is something that we should all probably be nervous about. Let's add some of this. Just gonna come up with a nice mixture, then we're gonna add this to our fish. We're going to slice our basil up onto this. Mostly I just added adding basil because I bought a basil plant yesterday and I love basil. So this is just an arbitrary decision. All right, it might've started out questionably, but these beauties are ready to bake and they actually look not that weird. We're gonna wait for our butternut squash though, since that needs to be farther along. So now we're gonna prepare our stuffing for our butternut squash. So we have pear, onion, cream cheese that we're going to add to this cranberry and almond mixture. Then we're gonna to top it with Parmesan cheese. We're also gonna put in some of this chai spice. 
which is basically just like ginger, cinnamon, cloves, allspice, that kind of thing. Okay, what's important here is that you get the ratios correct. So I only used half of the pear and I only used probably less than half of the onion. Just that little bit is onion, that's how much is left. Because we don't want an overpoweringly oniony flavor, we just want a little to give it some variety. So then we're gonna add cream cheese. I'm probably gonna add just half the half of a half, so a quarter of a block of cream cheese. And just cube that in the same way and then add it to the mixture. So now we're just kind of crushing that all up, getting it all mixed together. And then we're gonna add Wiss Chai Spice. Don't mind my dirty hands. And we're gonna add a little salt as well. Okay, our squash have come out of the oven. They're steamy, they're starting to get tender, so it's time to stuff them. I'm just gonna fill up this center part. Then we're gonna grate cream cheese on first. Parmesan cheese on top. Okay, because our squash is now ready for the final bake, then we can go ahead and put our fish in. And I'm gonna put them in the same oven on about 375. All right, while our fish and our squash are cooking, it's time to cook the third member of this food family, the green beans. Start with the olive oil in a pan. I didn't use all the onions in the stuffing, so I'm gonna add these to the olive oil. Then I'm gonna add some garlic. So we're gonna let these sizzle a little bit before we add in our green beans. And our last step will be the green onion. Add as much olive oil as you feel like it needs because you want it to be nice and ready for the green beans. Alrighty, our onions have gotten nice and sizzly. So we're gonna add the green beans. The goal here is to just cook the crap out of them, in my book. We'll also add a little salt and the green onions. See how we're starting to get a little bit of brown on our beans? That's what we're looking for. And I'm going to eat this, by the way. So we have our green beans, our fish, and our butternut squash, which I'm not going to burn myself. I just want to dedicate this meal to my niece and nephew, Indigo and Dominic, because you are my biggest fans, and their mom, and their little sister and my friend Dakota who inspired me to create these with Shia LaBeouf motivational videos. They work. Now we have our first bite taste. Oh my gosh. Is that good, Giddy? You want more? Ah, he's attacking. <laughs> 